Hello and welcome. Now, basics of binomial distribution. Let us take a case, something like volume of exercise, and that is an unbiased coin is tossed six times. That means the experiment of tossing a coin is repeated six times. Find the probability of getting number one five heads and number two at the most three heads. Six times a coin is tossed and we are interested in getting heads. In first case five heads. So first of all what is this six? It is small n. The number of times experiment is homogeneously related, uh, repeated. P will be probability of head in constant in all trials that will be 1 by 2 and Q probability of not getting head will be 1 minus P 1 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 and we are interested in calculating the probability of exactly 5 heads so R or you may be using the sign X is 5 according to binomial theorem uh, probability distribution the probability density function is P of R number of success is equals to N C R into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. Q is nothing but 1 minus P. Many teachers suggest sign of 1 minus P instead of Q. But Q can be officially used. So the probability of 5 successes will be 6 C 5 into 1 by 2 raised to 5 into 1 by 2 raised to n6 minus r5 1 so ultimately it is 6 c5 into 1 by 2 since the base is common there should be addition of powers 1 by 6 raised to 6 now what is 6 c5 6 c5 is 6 into 1 raised to 6 is 1 and 2 raised to 6 is 64 so ultimately probability of 5 heads comes to 6 by 64 or 3 by 32. Another case is not that much straight or easy. Probability of at the most 3 heads. Be careful when we face, you face the term like at the most, at least, etc. At the most 3 means maximum 3. That means 3 or less. That is actually P of R less than or equal to 3. That is also P of 1 minus P of R greater than 3. We can calculate directly by this formula 3 or less means 3 or 2 or 1 or 0. We have to calculate 4 probabilities and the summation will be the final answer. In this case, in case of N6, we have to calculate probability of 4, 5, 6, they are greater than 3. And their summation should be subtracted from 1. The same final answer will be there. We have already calculated probability of 5, so we are going to get the answer through this way. Because we only need to calculate probability of 4 and probability of 5 heads respectively. So let us calculate probability of 4 heads. That will be 6 C4 into 1 by 2 raised to 4 into 1 by 2 raised to 6 minus 4, 2. So it is 6 C4 is equivalent to 6 C2. 6 C2 is 6 into 5 by 2. That is 30 by 2, 15. 15 into 1 by 2 raised to 6 that is 15 into 1 by 64 so it is 15 by 64 now p of all 6 has 6 c 6 into 1 by 2 rest to 6 into 1 by 2 rest to 6 minus 6 0 6 c 6 is equivalent to 6 c 0 that is 1 1 into 1 by 2 rest to 6 because base is same, we have to add the powers. That is 1 into 1 by 64. That is 1 by 64. 
and P of 5A already calculated in the previous case, we will be getting it directly from here. So ultimately, P of at the most 3 hats equals to 1, uh, sorry, P of x less than or equal to 3 is 1 minus P of x greater than or greater than 3 that is 1 minus P of 4 plus P of 5 plus P of 6 that is 1 minus P of 4 15 by 64 plus P of 5 6 by 64 plus P of 6 1 by 64 so ultimately it is 1 minus 22 by 64 it is 42 by 64 or 21 by 32 this is the final answer that's it thank you very much